Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Penguin and welcome back to Farmers Simulator 17 Garage Tour. Now today we're going to take a look at grass tools and this includes mowers, tedders and windrowers. So let's get right into it. Right then, so here we are with our uh, grass tools. So we're going to start off with mowers. Now there is, there was like, I think there was three, four mowers. No, there was... There was three mowers in the last last game, and there's a. Uh, if we if we're gonna count like so one two three four five so there's six so there's, there's twice as many. Uh, here we're gonna start off with the these are the pottingers. This is the butterfly uh, setup. This I don't I don't know why but when I bought these I bought these two together. And then bought that one after, but some for some reason they'll they like that. I don't know why. So this is like this is the butterfly part. This is the rear part to tractor. But I want to show you something. And you might have seen this in the uh, Farm Simulator 17 trailer. I don't know what model number this is. What's that say? Nova Cat. It's the Nova Cat uh, X8. <laughs> there we go. This is the Pottinger Nova Cat 302. This is the uh, like the side on mower, like a a hedge mower type type thing. Not not hedge mower, but um, you know, for mowing like these little strips along like a, a pavement or something like that. Um, here, this this is something new. Uh, new Holland mower. And I, I really do like the look of this. It's New Holland disc bind 313 and it's uh, I believe is it a mower conditioner or is that just the John Deere name I've, I've seen the John Deere Moco mowers and I believe the Moco stands for mower conditioner I don't know if that's just a type of mower or that's the brand of the John Deere one but anyway these you, you offset them and you kind of you'll go you'll go around and then you'll drive over the swath with with this offset cutting your your next line your, your next swath so it's pretty cool and I can't wait to use that this is the Pottinger is it a Nova cat? might not be actually what is it? is that it? Alpha Motion? I'm not quite sure and then here is the uh, it's a new brand called Lely, I believe. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Lely, the Lely Splendimo, Splendimo. That's a nice name. Um, and this is the Lely Splendimo. Oh, it doesn't have like a a number. This one you can't attach to it. So this this will go on oh, 900 MC. There you go. Uh, this one you can't attach. To the back. I mean, this one you can only attach to the back of the tractor. You can't connect this to it as well. Whereas the the Pottinger one you can. And we'll, well, in fact, we'll test that out now. Let me just hop in my uh, my fence here. Because the idea of this is, and I'm going to do it how they did it in the trailer. So they have that. Right, we're going to unfold that and we'll unfold the other one as well. And the idea of this is uh, yeah, let me get this right. Um, is it that one you drop off? No. No, that's it. We drop off the front one, then we turn around, to be fair I might actually need to put this on the other way, let me just go around the other side, I believe this is how it's done, I could be completely wrong, 
Yeah, that's better. Can we do with this? Now, what you do with the tractor is this tractor and some others. You can change the the driving position. You, you could do this a mod in a FS15. But this comes as standard. So I am I am now. I should have shown this in the tractor's video, but I didn't. I forgot. So all the controls are reversed now. So if, if you press W on your keyboard, which is to go forward, you will. Well, you are going forward when you're facing this way, but that's actually backwards. And the steering is reversed as well. So if I was to face this way, it's uh, it's it's reversed. And it's it's quite weird. So yeah, I pick this up and. Uh, then start mowing. Which I think is pretty neat. And this is done in real life, uh, reverse mowing. I don't know, like, what the benefit is to it. But it, it's done, that's all I know. some grass. Like so. So let me drop that those off there. So that's how you do that. And that one's just as normal. I just want to have a play around with this. Unfold mower. Oh! Right, so we actually... Oh yeah, we can. You have to unfold it. Oh, I'm still driving in the wrong position. Just switch that around. There we go. And there you go. That's how it's offset. So, let's just demo this. I like the startup noise it made then. That was cool. And there we are. That's how that works. Excuse me, car. Right then, enough of that. So over to the Tedders. This is the Vicon Fanex 604. Uh, it's a little one. I don't know how big it is. I'd say it's five meters. Let's just double check. Six meters. Oh, right. It's six meters. Um, it's. Oh, I forgot what it's called in FS15. It wasn't. Vicon, but it is similar. It's like it's the one that isn't trailed. We've actually got three tethers in a family similar 17, which is cool. This is the Lely Lotus 1250. With it being 1 2, I'd say it's 12 and a half meters. Let's just check. It is Lely. I've never heard of that brand, but I, I think they make quite a lot of grass tools. They make they've, they've got mowers. Tedders and there's a windrow over over there as well. So this is new to, new to the game. Looks pretty nice. And then this is the Pottinger uh, HIT 12.14T. Uh, this was out of FS15, and I believe I believe this is 12 meters as well. Oh, it's 13 meters. So just a little bit bigger than that one. But this this one just lo looks a lot bigger. I don't know why. But yeah, that is the tethers. Over to the windrowers, the Pottinger top 
462. Now, what's interesting about this is I've unfolded everything, apart from the mowers. But when you fold this up, you actually take like the rakes off and they you stack them up on these here. So when you buy it, it's like all you have to like build it essentially. No, you don't physically build it. You just click. You just click uh, unfold it and it'll do it. But that that's how it comes is as if you were had to assemble it, which is a uh, pretty cool. It's the uh, single swath. Well, they're all yes, yeah, a single swath. So it's it's the smallest you can get. Right over here to the Coon GA9531 Master Drive. Now I believe this is the same one out of FS15. It's just it's been you know it's got like a fresh paint color and uh, it's a bit darker. That's why it looks a little bit different. But still, it's probably my most used wind rower because it was it was like the medium one and it's got rear wheel steering which I do like for like. Uh, reversing to, or reversing or going around really tight corners in the field, the back end would turn, which is pretty helpful. And here is the last one, the Lely Hi Hibiscus fifteen one five CD Pro. So I'd say this is about fifteen meters. Let's just check. Fourteen point eight. Yeah, I call it fifteen meters. Um. It was oh what was the was it a Pottinger the biggest wind roar in fifteen I think it was uh, it's similar to that but yeah it's pretty cool and uh, I'd love to use this anyway that is it for this category of grass tools let me know what you think of these which is your favourite I personally I, I like the mowers simply because you can join these up and there were mods in. 15 that allowed you to do it but it, they were they were crap they didn't really work as such and i i do like the offset mower um i can't wait to use that i i, I like them all i'm I, you know i don't do much grass work but when i do it it's kind of it's like a relaxing thing to do it's not it's not a hard thing to do really but yeah that is it for now thank you for watching please like favorite and subscribe and i'll see you Next time, some more Farming Simulator 17, Garage Tour. Ta-ra.